Good morning, everybody. I believe it's Saturday morning. We are at the Walmart east of Albuquerque. Exit 166. About one mile north of Interstate 40. Beautiful Walmart. As you can see, wide open parking. Plenty of room to get in and out. There's our sister Dutch Star, a new Mar Dutch Star. This rig here is Kim and I's. It's a Newmar Mountaineer, 1996, 460 Ford motor with a six pack on it. She's running great so far, knock on wood. As you can see in this model, this is I believe the model M3857, uh, I believe it is. It's got the tag axle on it. She's well used. She's got 80,000 miles on it. We tow our 2007 Jeep Wrangler. Four wheel drive. Which has never been in four wheel drive. And we got 100,000 miles on it. So make somebody a good four-wheel drive vehicle when we came through New Mexico down around Carlsbad it was just covered with dirt it was really nasty we tried to wash it once and we got most of it off but it's gonna have to be washed again but oh well part of it here's our bikes that uh, we're gonna enjoy Huffy bikes as you can see, it's, uh, it's got an air ride, they call it, system, or air glide. Makes it good for going down the road, takes all the porpoise out of it. Uh, that helps, that tag axle helps with that. It's a single slide, works fine for us. Sometimes it'd be nice to have a bed slide, just give you a little bit more room in the back of the house, but works fine. I'll get into it more later on in the going through the motor home, but it's a good rig. It's a good solid rig. As you can see, I've installed the tire pressure monitoring system on here. Helps a lot to know what your pressures are close to it split windshield but so far she's been a good rig for us the generator on this model was right outside the front door behind the front passenger wheel which to me made no sense whatsoever because if you're sitting out here on this side, uh, your exhaust fumes comes right out on your patio. But that's how they designed it. This front left or front right tire is the one that's been giving us issue. Uh, I don't know. the The gauge says it's at. Uh, almost 80 pounds of pressure but for some reason that sensor on here is reading like 64 which is giving me the alarm 
So I'm gonna check them again this morning, as always. Check fluids, make sure everything's okay. A uh, little bit, uh, Kim's getting ready to go into Walmart and do a little shopping. We love our Walmart. We thank you, Walmart, for giving us our viewers the opportunity to use your lot overnight. We're going to be uh, heading up to Four Corners. Uh, where Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico meet. I believe it's the only four places in America, or should say North America, or should I say United States, that four states touch each other at one point. And then we'll just cut across there to Page instead of going over to Flagstaff and going up to Page on Interstate 40 and then north to Page. We're just going to go north on, I believe it's 419, 419 to uh, Four Corners and then go west over to Page. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, we'll talk with y'all later. Give you a brief, just want to give you a brief view. It's beautiful this morning. I think it's 54 degrees. So it's almost chilly for us southern boys. But uh, we'll catch you when we get inside the coach.